a new beta BIOS has been leaked and released by Lenovo today, which provides the option for you to enable a 6GB VRAM option on top of the existing 3, 4 and 8GB options currently available. You may be interested in trying this out if you feel that you might benefit from having 6GB of VRAM on your Legion Go. I must stress to you all though that this BIOS is experimental, not final, and there may be issues which arise from installing, so you are performing this at your own risk. Before we begin, I just want to give a huge shout out to the incredible Legion Go Discord community, which, if you want to join this stellar group of helpful individuals, you can find the link to the server in the description. In the description, you'll find a link to download this file here, and the process is quite automated, so you don't need to worry about too much. Just going to select this by double tapping. After a brief moment, we're going to come up with a Lenovo update utility, which says proceed with the BIOS update now. We're going to go ahead and press next. We get a few warnings that appear. Just simply press next. I've got the charger connected and I would probably recommend you that you do this as well. Press next and then we'll just wait for this to finish. Windows is going to restart and you can see here that Legion is now updating. So just let this do its thing, don't turn off the Legion at all or unplug the charger. And once that first stage is completed the Legion Go will turn off. So just leave the Legion Go, mine took about a minute before it turned on again and started to perform this next update. So once the update is completed, you're probably going to come to a portrait lock screen. What you want to do is just log in as usual and the Legion Go will reorientate itself. For now, let's check out what's been added to the BIOS by pressing start and shut down. With your Legion Go fully off, what we're going to do is hold the volume up button and just press power once to access the BIOS. So let's press BIOS setup, more settings, and if we go to configuration, under the UMA frame buffer size, we can see that we now have a six gigabyte option available. So I'm gonna select this. And for now, we're gonna exit saving changes. Once we're back in Windows, what we want to do is just hold on start, run, and once again, type dxdiag and press OK. This will bring up the DirectX Diagnostic Tool, Display tab, and we can see that our VRAM is now 6 gigabytes, which is going to help us a lot with our games as we run them on the Legion Go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel, as this motivates me to want to create more content for you all, and I hope you found it helpful. Please have a great day and thank you very much for watching.